EKD Nambiar, political analyst, supporter of the BJP. Mr. Nambiar, I don't know how really you're going to defend this issue, frankly, because officially, if you break down the amount the crude oil costs and the amount of taxes on it at the moment, it is at an all-time high. How is the government going to defend this? Is there no respite expected? We're not even seeing an acknowledgement from the government to start with. Sonil, I think uh, there is no doubt these prices, uh, the, the, the rupees 90 and 100, this is simply not acceptable. Uh, the common man like you and me are really troubled with this kind of a price rise. There is no doubt. But then there is another uh, aspect to this whole story that we just uh, came out of such kind of a lockdown of a complete economy and the government not just the center but even the state governments are going through a tough time in terms of their own economics to fund the poor and the the, 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 uh, the underprivileged section of the society so it's basically more of like a chicken and egg story the governments of, of both at the center and the and the uh, state requires fund to uh, for the infrastructure projects and the welfare projects. But in the meantime, it is also a sad story that the people like you and me cannot afford to spend such a huge amount of money. No, but I, I, I don't understand of... your economics here. You're saying to please one sector, the other's pockets are, go are being squeezed out. Like, how does that work out? And how does it make any economic sense? Let me bring in uh, Pallavi Sharma. Pallavi, please go ahead. You said that it is a, it, my argument was not right. Let me correct that argument to you. If you have. I'll come. Even Mr. No. Nambiar seems worried about the prices, but we haven't heard anything from the government, Mr. Nambiar. No, no I think uh, th that's again wrong. Even in, in fact, the uh, Nirmala Sitaraman day before has said even the uh, petroleum minister yesterday was t talking about the price. The this kind of a tax structure needs to have a, a rechange. Maybe we may have to bring this under the GST if all the states agree to it, including the Congress governments. Please, I think uh, th there is there are two things. One is the economics. The economics of a common pan. And it is also equally important because at the end of the day, the government belongs to every common man of this country. So 5.5 lakh crore is the last 2020, the, the overall tax collection or from the fuel tax. And he, all these money is being spent on the welfare of the people. So there are two elements to it, Sonal. The, the, I'm talking about the basic economics of the fuel economy, mm. which we call it in India, because it's we are definitely the highest uh, taxing country when it comes sure. to the fuel, almost seventy percent of the money what sure. you and me spend is actually is a tax. But where is this tax is going? If the Congress is too much worried about this thing, why the the government of Punjab, why the government of uh, Rajasthan is not reducing the VAT? Which in fact Rajasthan government is the highest uh, VAT charging uh, when it comes to the fuel. So I think more than the politics, what we need to do is that both state and the central government mm. in, at this particular time is going through a major challenge. But yes, it is the duty of the government, both at the state and the, uh, the central to make sure that this should not result to a huge food inflation. Well, on if that note, I agree with you. I, on that note, I agree with you. And let's leave it there for the moment because I have to slip into a break. Thanks, Pallavi and Mr. Nambiar for joining us. Quick break.